Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Shaolin MMA Galway, please welcome to the ring, Andreas Bindo! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing SBG Swords, please welcome to the ring, Ian Gary! We're underway! Slight high advantage to Ian Gary. I will say straight off the bat, both fighters look quite calm, so my ask about emotions, they both look calm. But they're both vastly experienced martial artists. Ian looking to utilize those long range shots. Yeah, he's really trying to use that range. Covering up well is Ian Gary. He's changing it nicely, Phil, leading uh -huh. with the jab and then with that right hand, changing it up. Strong inside leg kick there from Andreas. Andreas just tried a, a clubbing left hand as Gary was trying to close the range. Good distance management by Ian Gary. And Andreas just caught in, just on the left hook as it landed the knee and broke. Mm -hmm. Stiff job. Need to be careful with that lead uppercut. If you don't land that lead uppercut clean, you leave yourself wide open to a straight. Nice low kick from Ian Gary. But Binder had the overhand right as the counter locked and loaded, just out of range this time. There it is. Nice short right hand coming in there by Ian Gary. Landed right on the money on Andreas Binder. Binder showing he owns a good chin. Nice in and out movement from Binder. That right hand again, Phil, is starting to find a home. That landed square on the chin. Low kick attempt from Ian Gary. Oh! Gary with a nice left hook to the body, followed by the right hand. Both fighters spin. Excellent first round of action here in CRC. Both fighters comfortable in their own skin in there, showcasing some good moves. Gary, you'd say, probably had the better landed shots, working well to the body. He was switching with leading from the jab to then lead with the right hand, mixing up his strikes well. Got caught briefly as he landed a, a, a knee in the clinch, just as they broke Binder with a nice short left hook, but an excellent open first round, Phil Campbell. We can see what Andreas Binder is trying to do off the lower kicks of Ian Gary. He's trying to come down, come over the top with that club and overhand. Hasn't quite landed it perfect yet, but it's there if Ian Gary drops the hands when he's throwing those low leg kicks. Uh, ben Davis in the corner giving instructions to Andreas Binder and Chris Fields in the corner giving instructions to Ian Gary. You talk about good corner men. You got two of them right there. And Walter Scott. Getting us ready for round number two. two for your CRC K1 82 kg vacant title. Gary in the red again and Binder in the blue. And this time it's Andreas Bildner trying to stay clean for the center of the ring. Nice kick to the body from Ian Gary. Very light on his feet. And Gary at the moment is doing well with his range. Binder's trying to counter a couple of times and it's just a whisker shy of the target, but Gary's got to be careful to keep it that way. Nice overhand from Ian Gary. And I, think that, I think that hurt, Andreas. He's on slightly wobbly legs. Lovely straight from Gary. He really wants the separation here to land his strikes. And Gary, he just needs to be calm because Andreas carries a lot of power, so he needs to be careful not to get wild. But certainly in Gary hurt Andreas Binder in that exchange. Good knee to the body. Clinch and break from referee Walter Scott. Nice body kick in Gary. Keeps in with a teep. Andreas spins, but again, good distance management by Ian Gary. And oh, a lovely low leg kick. Takes away the lead leg as Andreas put all his weight down on it. I think Andreas just wearing a little bit of a mouse under that left eye. And 
in Gary, starting to get comfortable, starting to open up. Can't get too comfortable with the power that Binder possesses though. Thought about the Crescent kick. Lovely short lead in uppercut from Ian Gary. And I think it's something, Phil, you spoke about the loss to Binder at Clan Wars 31. This is something that you think has sharpened them in his journey and there's no messing, there's no showboating here, there's no looking out of the ring. At times, as we were calling the fights, Ian was making eye contact with yeah. us as we were calling the fights. There's none of that, he's all business. But an excellent second round again for Ian Gary. As you can just see, when Andreas is trying to come back, he's just out of range. Nice shot to the body there as well, Ian Gary. And there's that kick that took away the lead standing leg of Andreas. Perfect timing for Ian Gary. He waited for Andreas to commit to the strike, putting all his weight on that front leg, and Ian Gary just took it right from underneath him. You're going to expect an eager Andreas been there. He may put himself in danger by going for big shots here, but he may need it. So expect to see an aggressive Andreas Binder coming into the third round here. Gary has got to watch his defense. He has been exceptional in his distance. Third He's got to keep it that round. way in the third round. Slightly on the knee there. Kick check by Ian Gary. Stepping in, downward hook from Ian Gary. Andreas Binder. really trying to get some offense off here. Just throwing a big right hand, but Gary just out of way. Did catch in with a, a left hook, but Gary just seems to have the range. A big shot! Oh, 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 oh. Gary! Big flurries, and he's getting out of the way of the counters. Beautiful distance management from Ian Gary. Landed big strikes, just popped right out. And steps in with a knee to the body of Binder, and Ian Gary really starting to open up and Binder. Andreas Bender wearing the fight a little more in his face. And Gary just there again, just out of range as Bender is trying to land the home run right hand. Excellent performance so far by the SPG Swordsman. I know personally this means a lot to Gary to get this loss back. Big right hand stepping in as well. But what more can Bender do? He really doesn't have an answer at the minute to that distance management of Ian Gary. We've got 45 seconds left here of the third round. And he, to his credit, he is trying. He keeps plugging forward. But Ian Gary just isn't there. Bender spins. Looking low. Comes in with the hook, but Gary wasn't there. And Gary just asking to fix the shin pad. We're looking at about 30 seconds left here. Andreas may look the blitz. Good body work and close work here by Ian Gary. That's probably where Binder wants it, Phil, is close range and oh, the throne lettering. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a firefight right now. Binder trying to land that big shot. Ian Gary doesn't allow it. Wow. Phil, you said at the top of this, these guys are going to fight over and over again. I want to watch it every time. I want to call it with you every time. Three rounds of action, three rounds of Ian Carey distant management, landing beautiful shots, a beautiful head kick there, and again, a beautiful step in combination. The flurry that put Binder up against the ropes. And just every time Binder tried to counter, Gary's management, distant management, didn't allow it. Our judges scorecards are in. We're going to crown an 82 kg champion. Let's send it up to our MC, Ladies Mr. Terry Kavner. Three rounds, we go to the judges scorecards. Judges scored this bout, declaring your winner by unanimous decision and the new COC amateur K1 82 kilo champion. He's fighting out of the red corner. Yeah!